Welcome to the Zadian Review. I'm Rachel. And I'm Zadian. <laughs> Why do you always giggle when I do that? Because you say it so funny. Trying to set the tone. I know. It's, it's not a bad thing. I no, like, it's I not. I like it. It's just funny to me. I'm glad you think it's funny. I like it. Okay. So, uh, what you got going on over there? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you're usually the intro person, and we don't have any guests today. It's just me and you, so it's going to be awkward. I know. We're back to our normal selves. Yes, we are. We're going to have to figure out how to talk to each other again. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, don't know if I can make it. It's going to be. It's going to be rough. Well, well, we'll all right. So uh, today in uh, Florida Man News. We've got, I've got two stories. Rachel doesn't have any stories this week. We've just kind of got a little thing here that we'll talk about a little bit after that before we yeah. get into our topic. Um, I really don't know which one I want to do first. They're both so just, mwah, it's perfect. I have to input, though, that you texted me earlier this week and you were like, I've got the best stories ever. You're never, you're going to love them. What? And so I'm very curious to see what they actually are because you've hyped them up so much. So I found the first one and I was like, oh, no, this is just, just the perfect story. This is just, I love this story. It's great. And then later and then, I get a message like that says, two seconds later, no, it was, one. it was literally the next article I clicked on. I was like, eh, there's number two. <laughs> so um, we'll just go with this one first. Florida woman. Don't know why I sounded like a 12-year-old there for a second. Oh, Florida, woman. Florida woman goes all Trump after groping. Tw- <laughs> I know. I don't even know what that means. I, um, It'll make sense in a second. Right. That's why I'm curious to see what that actually means. After grabbing the buttocks of a fellow female passenger on a sightseeing cruise, a Florida woman told the, the victim's husband... You should go back to your uh, go back to the country you came from. When confronted about her groping, she groped. She grabbed this lady's butt. She grabbed this lady's butt, and then told her husband, "You need you, to go back where you came from." Well, apparently, the husband does protest. You know, he did not like it. Does protest? Whatever. Do- doth. Does doth protest? Whatever. I don't know. And let me, he didn't let, like it. He didn't like it. So. uh during a trip Friday afternoon on the Anaclot River, which flows into the Gulf of Mexico, Lisa Ann Matheson uh, allegedly got handsy with a fellow traveler. <laughs> According to the arrest affidavit, Madison, uh, th- uh, 58, apparently intoxicated. Surprise, surprise. Uh, according to several witnesses on the... Uh, Spong, um, Spongzarama, Spongerama, Sp- no, Spongzarama cruise boat. Wow. It's one of those river cruises, um, which you know people from Florida go on. Apparently, I always imagine that would be in like Mississippi folk too. Where where was this? On the Anaclot River that flows into the Gulf. Fl- flows into the Gulf. So that was in Florida. I don't know where that river is. Now I'm curious. Um, Police uh, police alleged that Matheson, uh, seen at the right, which is a very lovely picture of her, she kind of looks trollish. Yep. She (laughs) She looks like a little troll. You know who she looks like from this angle? Who? (laughs) Someone else that we say is a troll. Um, that That I work with? Yeah. Well, not anymore, but yeah. Uh, you should see it from my side because I'm not. I'm looking at the side of the. Side. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> okay, no, I got you. All right, inside joke. You're not getting that one, fellas. That's that's what I see. Uh, anyways, um, uh, the police alleged Matheson uh twice grabbed the victim's buttocks. Not once, but twice. And and declared, "Oh, it's curved." And nice. Oh. And she also said, I would do you. I wonder if she thought she had the man's butt. No, no, no. No, she was pretty calm. It's, it's, well, a woman doesn't go up to a man's ass and grab it and go, oh, it's curved. I mean. I just love that she was like, she's talking like the, the regular, like a regular bro. And was like, I would do you. Right. Like some 
frat bro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it says in the article, Matheson pawed the woman. <laughs> Oh my god. In front of the in front of the victim's six year old daughter. Oh my god. God just grabbing this late this kid's mom's ass. I would do you. Mm. Licking her troll lips. <laughs> oh god, that's awful. Oh when when the victim's husband asked Matheson to stop, she replied, You should go back to your country you came from. <laughs> The affidavit does not identify the man's race or nationality. Um, he's on a riverboat cruise, I would assume, probably just a white guy, and she has no clue, you know, right. race or anything. I, I'm just tossing that out there. Yeah. Um, Tarpon Springs. Uh, after Tarpon Springs police arrested her for uh, misdemeanor battery. That's misdemeanor battery? God damn. Well, that's not um, that big of a thing. <laughs> Madison denied grabbing the victim's buttocks, said, I didn't remember anything. I didn't remember anything, and I, I don't know why I was arrested. How did I get on this boat? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is your... These are your people. What, my people? Oh, wait, no, sorry. Um, it, Tarpon Springs is... Just north of Clearwater. Where's Clearwater? Clearwater is. Do you know where St. Pete is? What state's it in? Florida. Okay, it is in Florida. I have no I idea what you're we talking as, about. I thought we. I don't know. I told you I didn't know where it was. Anyway, that's the end of that article. <laughs> uh, she was uh, she was uh, released uh, Saturday morning after posting five hundred dollars bail. So I mean that's not. $500 bill for grabbing a woman's ass and saying I'd do you in front of their six-year-old daughter. <laughs> <laughs> my second article. She pulled an Uncle Joe. She did. Um, my second article is also about a Florida woman. Okay. And its title is Police Pan Florida Woman's 5.30 a.m. Performance of the Nutcracker. God. <laughs> A Florida woman, a Florida woman, arrested early yesterday for grabbing her husband's genitals with such force, the victim crumpled over and had trouble walking. Well, she, oh, she told the cops, "This is this is what I sealed this." I understood the title. Yeah. What. What, what what were you struggling with on that? I was thinking the Nutcracker, like the, the Christmas production. <laughs> and I was really confused where this was headed. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, well, they called it a performance. What else are you going to think? She told the cops that she was just trying to arouse her spouse in an effort to have sexual intercourse. What's that? Yeah, am I doing it right, Susan? <laughs> am I doing it right? Am I, am I doing it right, Susan? You're not. You're doing it incorrectly. She grabbed his balls so hard that she made him crumple over in pain, <laughs> and she was doing it in an effort to get some. That's not how this works. That's like uh, Frank and Gail the snail. <laughs> yeah, she's mashing it. I'm getting a handy under the table. I'm giving Frank a handy under the table. Yeah, she's smashing it. She's smashing it. She's smashing it. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? I I really didn't read past that. She looks like she's on meth. They well, she's a Florida woman. I'm just oh. assuming that most of them are. Yeah. All right, that's it for my articles. I had my fun. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, <laughs> do your thing. Do my thing. Well, I was going to circle back a little bit to a couple weeks ago um, when we had Nicole on and we talked about human trafficking and we talked a lot about Jeffrey Epstein. And so I was curious to see if you had heard that he tried to kill himself in jail. No, I had not. So apparently he's already been put under like maximum security 
because... Because he's a pedo. Well, no, because he was getting so many threats from other inmates. Well, yeah, they don't, they don't take... They don't... Murderers and... Murderers and... and um, they, robbers. Yeah, they don't take kindly to... Even rapists, they don't take... Rapists have a hard time in jail, too, because they, they hurt women. Yeah. But, like... You um, hurt a kid and you're done for. Yeah, you uh, murderers don't... Um, ped- pedos are the lowest rung on there, and they... Um, these people are, are hardened criminals. They are in for the rest of their life. Right. So, what are you going to do? Give me another life sentence if I take this pedophile out? Right. So, they got nothing to lose. So... They moved him to, like, a maximum security site and then found him, I think it was Monday morning. Um, Law enforcement say that he was found on the floor of his cell, um, that he was put on suicide watch. They found him lying on the floor of his jail cell, semi-conscious, despondent, and crying. They're saying that he tried to hang himself or choke himself out because he had, like, bruises and stuff around his neck. Yeah. Um, that's what people are saying. That's not what I believe. What is it that you believe? Per- Speak into the microphone, darling. I am. I, I am. There you go. I am. I, I think... This either went one of two ways. Like, we were just talking about that someone got to him because they're like, we don't like your kind. Yeah. Totally possible. Because he, from what I've read, he was under more security, but he wasn't, like, alone. He wasn't in, like, solitary. Oh, okay. He was just under more protection. Yeah. um, Instead of being in general population. But what I think is more likely... He, I think he, I don't think he tried to kill himself. I honestly think he had someone. Someone was trying to kill him. Well, and not because they were, they didn't, you know, they didn't take kindly to him, but. But because he's connected to a sitting U.S. president and a former U.S. president. I think either someone on the outside tried to pull the hit on him. Hmm. Or he paid somebody off to try and kill him because he knew what was going to happen. Because he he still to this day admits no wrong. Well, yeah. I mean. I mean, are you going to come out and be like, yeah. Heck yeah, I slept with that 13 year old. Yeah, I've got an island full of women that shouldn't be there. But yeah. So I I lean more towards the, the theory of. Someone tried to pull a hit on him to shut it up. Uh, it, it makes sense. You know, even even if, I mean, you got to think he's connected to two U.S. presidents. One one served for eight years. The other one's for four years or going to be for at least four years yep. and is coming up on re-election. And he's already lost a cabinet member to this whole debacle, even though, I mean, it's you go one way or the other on that. So it doesn't surprise me that he would wind up suiciding himself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because just, just for the Clinton thing alone, like that could topple that regime even further than it already has collapsed with the whole me too movement and all the stuff coming out about him and and rehashing the old stuff about him and the woman. He's the women he's allegedly raped. And then you've got Donald Trump who is an acting president and you know, he's got, re-election coming up and he's also got rape allegations towards him and you know mm-hmm. so i yeah it wouldn't surprise me at all if he suicides himself if he gets suicided right i'm using air quotes for those of you uh, well, at home who can't see dig even further I, I i'm gonna go ahead and call that it's the clintons because how many other people that are connected to them have Oh, disappeared. Killed yeah, themselves. killed themselves or uh, wound up dead Mysterious on the side of a road. Yeah, car accidents and stuff yeah. like that. So, uh, I'm not saying Donald Trump doesn't have skeletons in his closet. No. There's no telling how many bodies are buried in the foundation of the buildings he built in New York City. Um, for God's sake, he's in he's in construction in New York City. Right. So you don't do that without having skeletons in your closet. Yeah. 
So, you know, I'm not saying I'm not trying to say Trump is uh not guilty of anything, but yeah, you're right. If if someone if if I had to pick between who was going to knock him off, right. between Clinton and Trump, I would lean more towards Clinton because of their their proven not proven, but you know, alleged, a, alleged past, right? With shadiness and just well, and two, yes, Trump is connected to him, but there's proof that they haven't been around each other for like 15 years. Well, yeah, give or take. There's also um, no no evidence whatsoever that Trump was on an airplane with him with minors, and Trump didn't lie under oath. Yeah. About how many times he was on said aircraft. That's very true. So, I mean, I, you know, I, it's hard to judge one way or the other because, you know, this is going to be a, unless there's some sort of evidence to come, it's innocent until proven guilty. Both Bill Clinton and Donald Trump are innocent of any crime as of right now. But at the same time, when you look at the evidence for, for each of them, <laughs> right. it is way more damning on Bill Clinton's side. And, right. That would be enough for for them to make make you want to disappear. Well, and, and digging into conspiracy theories, there's a whole long line of conspiracy theories about the Clintons and how Hillary is running some big sex trafficking ring. I don't yeah. know if you've heard any about that. Stuff. I did, and that that goes back to um, what you call it, uh, uh, the Planet Pizza. That's where that guy walked into that pizza place and and DC. I I don't know how much I buy about that. I don't know. Everything I've read was very like almost to the T, similar with what Epstein was doing. Private island, lots yeah. of underage people. I, I I think that's to be fair. I think that's speculation. I, I, totally. Well, they're conspiracy theories for a yeah. Reason. They're conspiracy theories for a reason. So, but what we do know is still the facts. The, you know, the facts that we do know is that there's a connection between him and Donald Trump, even though they've been separated for a long time. And there's a connection between him and Bill Clinton. Right. And you know, even though I think they've been disconnected for a while as well, <laughs> have they not? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that they said that it's been a while since, because he got in, um, I think after that whole debacle in the early 2000s, I think that did it for Clinton. What debacle? With the the Florida stuff, oh. where he uh, got out with a, where Costa came down as as the federal prosecutor. and That's right. So yeah. I think, I, I don't think either one of them have had contact with him in a long time. But at the, you know, like I said, there's evidence that both of them have a connection. There's just some really bad evidence on Bill Clinton. Yeah. And a whole lot of it. Yeah. And if you're, if, if someone, if conspiracy wise, if someone was going to off someone, it would, I would pull more towards Clinton. Yeah. Even though Donald Trump is an Probably. active president. Yeah. I still don't think he would do anything like, well, I don't know. You know, you never know. It's it's it could go both ways. It could go both ways, but we lean more towards the Clintons because there is so much alleged things yeah. tied to them and people magically disappear. There's there's a lot more dirt. Now if, if if Trump had been on the airplane as you know, like Clinton and everything as many times, I would say Trump would be, you know, right. that's the secret service going in there and going you know. Well, not necessarily. So I don't know. I I do love a good conspiracy theory, though. That's yeah. interesting. Yep. So there it is. Yeah. We'll uh, keep everybody posted as we hear things. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. It's a keep good, keep it going. I good like story it. to follow. Yeah, I could sit here and talk about conspiracy theories now. Damn it. I'm sorry. Yeah. You get you derailed me. I I don't mean to. We just have good conversation. I know. I well, looking at the analytics, I don't think people like hearing us talk about politics i can tell you that much for right they now. don't like you yelling at them no they don't i was and i told you i got rowdy I, yeah you got riled up but today's topic that Wait, i chose do you want me to introduce it okay go ahead. i'm i'm just asking yeah oh, yeah go for it okay well today on the zadian review <laughs> <laughs> um was zadian's choice so uh why don't you Tell us what you chose. I 
decided to give him a mulligan for since, last week. <laughs> since it's been a, a a rough time for me and my my choices, we had the Fourth of July debacle, <laughs> and then we had our highest rated episode last week with uh, Hoot and Demon. Um, what did you call it? Pepper in the target. Pepper in the target. Because that's pretty much what we did. We just peppered the target. We just shot down range, peppered it. Yeah, I have no clue what we talked about. No, it's a bunch of different stuff. Which I had a lot of fun in that episode. Yeah, so. it was fun. Yeah, but but I wanted I I I feel like I haven't had a chance to do a topic and I a good yeah and yeah. I I God knows I'm gonna lose everyone we've gained with this one. Um, Not necessarily. We may give people something to think about and yeah. scratch their head. Things that make you say, hmm, hmm yeah. this is it. That's probably copyrighted. <laughs> no, because I don't have their sound bites. I'm just saying yeah. words. Um, it's fine. I wanted to talk about the human soul, which is a deep philosophical right. conversation. And um, the reason I wanted to talk about this is uh, I... Uh, was listening to something on the YouTube rabbit hole and kind of went down it. And then, and, and ironically, they said something about uh, on the uh, Von Hessler doctrine about uh, transferring a consciousness into um, the computer. Yes. And that got me thinking about the human soul and everything and my beliefs on it. And uh, I just kind of wanted to explore that because I know we've, we've talked about it before in our private lives. But yes. I've got such a weird, inter- a weird view on <laughs> on souls and religion and all that other stuff that I thought it might be inter- interesting for the um for the podcast. So, do you want to kind of tell us what you believe about souls first? Um, being a good good Christian woman, I could go on about this. Um, because you you sounded really excited. Yeah, because I was excited to hear you talk about this. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to dominate because mine will probably go for the rest of the podcast. That's why I'm trying to get you to go first. Thanks. Thanks. Well, because um, mine's long and drawn out. Yeah, mine's not. Okay. We live. We die. We go to heaven or hell. Anyway. The soul is what it is. You're just. It's. Yeah. You think of it as more of a biblical. Yeah. Well, I mean that's. That's my upbringing and where i'm yeah rooted so and there, and and i uh, agree with that to uh, to a certain degree yeah but when you and i've talked about this before like we just have, in our personal life you go down this crazy tr- well i have my <laughs> own theories about it you do and you have definitely made some very thought-provoking comments um it which is one of those times where where I'm just like, I just stare at you and listen because... There's a crazy I, person sitting next to you spouting off stuff. No, because you're blowing my mind. Like, I don't <laughs> I don't think about these things. I do. I'm just trying to make it day to day. So, what my beliefs are in this, the human soul are, um, as very like I said, very similar to uh, Christian views. First of all, um, I know this may surprise you. Some of the audience. The majority of the audience. I am a Christian, a practicing Christian, and I I do believe in God and and Jesus and all that. I feel like I should preface preface that yeah. that I am a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> and I do believe in, in Jesus and God and everything. And you know, I I my I want to have I want to have this this topic on religion. One day. I don't think they're ready for it. But I don't think I'm ready for it. <laughs> but yeah, just just to clarify, I am I am Christian. I'm a non non denomination. I you know, I don't believe in organized religion. So let's just go from there. Uh, after dropping that bomb. But my points of view on the the human soul are that it's something that's given to the body uh after after birth and taken prior to death that you can experience death, but before the body dies, your soul is, is taken. And so, and let me, let me clarify the, 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 the before part. So, um, 
this is where it gets a little weird and I know this may weird people out, but this is just kind of how I feel. Um, I'm not saying that when a woman is pregnant, that that's not life. I believe in life at conception, which I know is, I, I know it's, it's a tough thing to say these days. How dare you? I believe that the, that the moment the cell splits for the first time, that is life. To clarify, that is life, but there is no soul, in my opinion. In my my um, your personal, theory, my personal theory, personal convictions, and I, and I'll kind of I'll explain to you why I feel this way. And I I don't think you get a soul until after you've been born for a little bit, and I I think it has something to do with viability of the body, whether or not it it's capable of accepting a soul and um so to give you an example when cameron our first child was born there was always something weird about her it, granted it was our first child so everything's a little bit weird yeah um but having you know i was off work so i, I spent a lot of time with 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 rachel and cameron and um well i had such a hard time with the first one yeah you did having surgery a month after giving birth and, and, and you had the the you had the postpartums pretty yeah pretty good no one told me though no <laughs> they didn't but um i i spent a lot of time with cameron especially the first the two weeks that i was <laughs> makes me sound like i was so i no, no 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 i'm not saying you were <laughs> i'm not saying anything against you or anything but i i did spend a lot of time with her I did um, you, you, you breastfed for a little bit and yeah. I, but I was, uh, even when she was a newborn, I was giving her bottles. Well, I noticed something with her that, and I know this is going to sound weird, but when I looked at her and when she would look at me, there was no light behind her eyes. And I know that sounds weird and it's hard to describe, but it was just like looking at an empty, empty shell almost. When you say light, like there's no spark. No twinkle. Yeah, it's the best way I know. the ba The only way I know how to describe it is that I did not see a light. Okay. And then, I think it was like a week after being home, I picked her up one morning, and it was like there was something there. So that's where I kind of came up with the theory that maybe, you know, maybe that the soul, maybe you don't receive a soul when you're first born. That maybe it's something that you're given after, you know, it's been after X amount of time, after X amount of time, or, you know, it, it, it maybe it's God's way of testing to see if you're going to keep the baby. I don't know. Honestly, don't <laughs> know. But I, I, I could tell a huge difference. In, in just a little week. And I know people will say, well, that, you know, babies grow quickly and they change quickly, which right. they do. But hey, Cameron. Speaking of. All right. So sorry about that. Our uh, our three-year-old Cameron came in and interrupted while we were recording. So we had to stop and put her back to bed. And She was just mad that the TV went off. Her yeah, movie finished. Her movie finished. And she wanted to, us to turn the TT back on. TT. Um, and I've, since I was like mid. Mid ramp. Well, or going over what I think. I can't really remember. You were. You I were, was talking about Cameron. You were just finishing talking about how uh, Cameron was born and there was like a week where she didn't have that glimmer. Yeah. She and was then, just like a shell of a little person. And, well, I mean, they're all shells, but I mean, well, I, I, I say this like it. I know it sounds a lot horrible than it than I'm trying to make it sound. Yes, but the human body is a shell for your soul. Yeah, for your soul. And uh so it's like the the first couple of weeks that that I was spending time with her, there was there was no light light in her her eyes and eventually like a week or two after we had been home, there was like a light came on inside of her and it wasn't just something that I could see, it was something that I could feel with her as well. And I, what I was saying earlier is I know there's a lot that changes, but with, um, newborns, they, they grow quickly and they do grow quickly, but I don't think it was a physical growth. It felt more 
Like a spiritual. Yeah, it was a more of a spiritual experience that I had um, with Cameron. And so that's what uh, uh, got me on this theory that I've done zero research in and just kind of came up with my own harebrained idea. And so when Kaylee was born, I was excited for two reasons. One, I was, we were having our second kid. And two, I was going to get to experience this for the second time in my life. To see if it was just a fluke or not. To see if it was, you see if it was just me dealing with um, a newborn and being disconnected because you you're going from not having any kids to having a child and um, having spawned something of your own. Yeah. You know, it's it's a it's an event in your life, and it's I wouldn't say traumatic, but it's it changes the your viewpoint on things. Yeah. It's. Well, it is traumatic. Well, yeah, it's true. I mean, <laughs> yeah. don't lie. It's traumatic. It can be. Yeah, it, it, it is. But um, having had Cameron was, you know, around two at the time, um, I, you know, had obviously adjusted to having having a kid. And the same thing happened with Kaylee. It was about a week or two. And there was like this light came on and they kind of backed up what I what I originally thought. Yeah. Of course, this is just me and my feelings. And, and like again, like I said, it was more of a spiritual feeling for me. And it was spiritual experience for me. It, take that for whatever it is. You know, I know it's it's personal. So there, and there's no way to prove one way or the other. The ultimate thing is, is we won't know if I'm right or wrong until we die. So, yeah. you know, and it's either we're going to be at the pearly gates down in hell or when we die, that's it. It's over with. Say that one more time. So you're either, you, there's there's only a handful of outcomes that can happen when you die. Okay. You're either at the pearly gates. Okay. Comma. You're, you're down in hell. Okay. Or just lights out. That's it. It's over. And nothing. Yeah. That's more terrifying. That's well, it's just a thought of nothingness and no existence. That's terrifying. I'd rather hedge my bets that there is something after life, right? Which is one of my main motivations for being a Christian, is that Terrible. I'm just kind of he hedging my bets. Well, I mean, it's and it also I've had spiritual experiences in my life, but I don't want to go into that in this, this podcast. Is not, it's not about that. This is about this souls. Is not the religion topic. So. That being that being said, with with my theory that the soul is given to the body after you're um, born and the body's able to receive a soul, that's why I think before you die or I mean, we're talking it could be seconds before the bus hits you. You know, I mean, like the split second when the bus is a millimeter away from you, your soul's wisp away from you so that your your soul's not traumatized or whatever. Yeah. Um, that led me to believe that that could be a possibility as well. That being said, my question that I am struggling with now is two things. One, mm -hmm. if you were able to make a perfect clone of you, would it be the same person as you? Mm. So, in meaning... You have a soul. I have a soul. So if I was to make the per if I was somehow able to make the perfect clone of me, which was not possible at this time, um, without doing some sort of kind of voodoo magic, uh, I, and we're talking the this clone would be one hundred percent you, like right. it is a hundred percent copy of you, like even even more of a copy of you than if you had an ident identical twin. Like we're talking like this is exactly 100% down to every single last atom in your body. Okay. Would that clone be able to function as a human being or would it be just an empty shell because there is no soul? What are you reading? I'm, I'm looking at my lip because I've, I was doing some to some topics, just research, um, and one of the things that I kept coming across were these questions about metaphysics, which is kind of like what we're talking about, this part of psychology that um, deals with abstract concepts like time, yeah. souls, things like that. And I was 
very surprised because you were saying that and I was reading wor- almost word for word what you were saying in a question form. Oh. And it just kind of, I was like, wow. Wow. How did my... So, I mean, you know, so that's that's one question that I had before you derailed me by... I didn't derail you. You derailed me. I didn't. I was... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I've got it then. Um, that was, that was my one, one of my questions. The other question is, is, um, is your soul something that can be transferred into another, either another consciousness or, um, into a computer? And my example with this would be, there's a a sci-fi show on Netflix. It's really good. Um, and it, uh god i can't remember the name of it um so good i don't know what it was called but you know which one i'm talking about it's where they um they've got the oa no 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 not the oa this one is uh where they've got these little cards in the back of their necks that has their their consciousness downloaded into it and you can you can go from body to body by um you you actually they they grow bodies in a lab yeah, and people can when they when their body dies, they can take their card which has their consciousness that they take their card that has their consciousness in it and put it in a a brand new body. Is, was that one of the Black Mirror? No, no, but it was in the same kind of anyway. It kind of sounds like um was it Westwood? No, it wasn't Westwood. But it kind of sounds like what they did with the robots and the Yeah, kind of, but Anyways. Any, anyways, um, hey Cameron. All right, sorry about that again. Uh, she came back. Uh, anyways, that actually did give me a chance to look up the the name of that um Netflix show. Oh yeah, Altered Carbon Never was the name it. of it. Anyways, so I heard it was good though. It is it is excellent. I recommend it to anyone. Um, the uh, the the other the basically the the gist of the other question is is can you if you were to download your consciousness into that chip is that your soul or when your body died would your consciousness stay this is getting deeper would your consciousness still be here like a a, almost like a copy of your memories and be able to continue on living without a soul and your soul goes goes on to the afterlife or is that your soul that's downloaded into that chip like if you were to download who you are into a computer, does that capture your soul along with it? Or is it no way to copy that? Another way to look at that, um, probably an easier explanation to look at that is, is teleportation. The teleport teleportation is a breakdown of your atoms in one spot and reconstituting them in another spot. Technically, can that technically what what is here dies and is disintegrated and then reintegrated in the other spot so do you continue on living or does your soul that first time does your soul go on to the afterlife and then what's left behind is just a copy an imitation Am I losing you here you've no. got that look on your face <laughs> no I'm here I'm just I'm thinking. I'm processing. This is a lot. Well, it's a, it's a very philosophical question. It is. Well, it is. It's psychology. Yeah. Um. So I think that I don't even know how to answer this. All right. Well. Well. First of all, do you think that you could continue on living in a like down by downloading your consciousness into a computer and does do you think that constitutes your your soul going and and being turned in from something in your body into something in a computer digitally so i yes i think in theory you could download your consciousness but i don't think you could download your soul okay so if, if I was to download who I am right into a computer, it would just be basically a copy of me. And when I die, there's nothing that 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 can keep me here on this earth. Correct. I can't. I cannot extend my life. 
Yes. That once my body dies, my soul goes with it. And my consciousness can stay yeah. like a, but it's a copy. It's not really you. Yeah. That's some deep shit. That is. That is some deep shit. God. Mind blowingness. God, I wish I, I wish I wish Cameron had interrupted us twice. I know. We were on a roll. We were both times. Um Yeah, I don't I I don't think and this is also because of upbringing and the way I believe and stuff. I I don't think I don't how to say this i i don't think you could take something that is a spiritual concept not i mean it's not a concept it's a real thing i don't think you can take that and then just be like oh but i can move my soul to this like you're not god you can't that's not how this works so something that's going to happen eventually is being able to upload your, your consciousness somehow, yeah. some way that the way technology is, I mean, it may not be, it won't be in our lifetime, but it could be something that is eventually yeah. capable of happening. Considering if we don't wipe ourselves off the face of the earth first, right. Or, you know, we don't do it in the next 12 years before. Never mind. Anyways, I was about to say something political, <laughs> but, um, uh, so you, and it's weird because I honestly, I don't know how I feel about it. I just like to think about it and the, and the, the weirdness of it and how it could go both ways. If you just think about it and then expect me to have an answer as to what it well, is. I, you know, I don't I think there's, well, I don't think there's any answer to it. It's one of those questions that you can't answer. I don't think this is something that, um, you know, anyone could have even thought of back in the days of Jesus, you know, being able to carry on your consciousness into some other form. Yeah. But it's something that has to be considered nowadays. Yeah. Because it's with technology the way it is, it's something that's going to happen. Yeah. So I am. I'm there. Yeah. It's just, it's just food for thought. And I hope I, I hope I at least made one person go, Hmm. Wow. Never thought of it that way. That's that's all I'm I'm going for here. I got some weird beliefs that I would like to uh, expose everyone to. Um, Delve into. Yeah, the you know, um, and this is just one of them. And I'd like to know people's thoughts. I don't know. I guess just leave a comment. I guess or actually, you can tweet me if uh, if you really want to tell me your thoughts on this. Tweet. Yeah, you can tweet me. Yeah, I'm, I know. I was going to say you could tweet us. You could post on our Facebook page once you like it. Yeah, that's true. All I those... I would really like to hear other people's. Yeah. I, yeah um, I'm, I'm curious as to what other people are going to say. You know, whether or not you think a soul is something that is um, that is from conception. Like, you yeah. know, the, the, the minute the spell splits, there's a soul that's yeah. given to that. Or if it's something that you think that you receive after birth or, or whatever, yeah. whatever your theories are on it, I, I would, I'd be very interested to hear them because yeah. so here's your homework. Yeah. Here's your homework. Figure out what you believe and then let us know. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no right or wrong answers. No, it's, it is, it's very curious to hear what people think. Oh, so let me ask you this. Um, you said you don't think a soul enters until like a week. Uh, some, well, there's some, a, it's not necessarily an arbitrary number. It's, it's more some sort of amount of time. Yeah. It's, it's not immediate at some point. So then what do you think about babies who are born, like stillborn or that maybe are born and then are, you know, that pass away within like a very short, like a week or so. What do you think about that? I I think it really depends on on the the case. You know, some um, a baby being born stillborn uh, is is horrible, and like I said, that is a life. Yeah, that is your baby. That is not that is not me taking anything away from you. It may or you know you it, it, my theory. The greatest thing about my theory is that it can go in at any time. I'm just saying that I don't. 
the fuck is... Oh, that's the alarm. God, that's good shit. I mean, I didn't do that. Oh, I forgot to turn the sound off. God damn it. Sorry. Rookie. Yeah. Um, I don't... I honestly don't know how to answer that. Okay. Because it, in with with me, personally, I, I don't know that 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 baby had a soul in, inserted in it to begin with. But I know how that could sound to someone who had a stillborn. Right. And and I'm not trying to take that away from you. I, I almost think, in, in, in my opinion, if we had had a stillborn, I would almost hope that there was no soul in it. Because that's... That's no life. There's there's zero life. You know what I mean, and I, and it's the same thing for for kids who die young. It's that's just a, you know, the cards that that soul has been been dealt. So I. Okay, here's another question. Did I kind of answer that a little bit at least? I, I wasn't looking for an answer. I was oh, just okay. curious what you thought. Um, I, I but again, I cannot stress enough that that is a life. That is a human being. Right. That 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 is a living creature that you lost, and that is traumatic and terrible and horrible, and I'll never understand. Right. And I I won't personally ever understand in my life what it's like to give birth to a stillborn. Right. And I hope you don't know what it's like to give birth in general. Well, yeah, or or be a part of that as a father. Yeah. I, that's something that you know, that we could experience through our friends, through our family, through our yeah. children. But this shop's closed. Nothing else yeah. is coming out of this. That's thing. something that we won't personally experience right. and have to go through, which is is good for us, but still it's like Yeah. I you know, I have the the deepest amounts of sympathy for anyone who has gone through that. Yeah. Definitely. And I'm not trying to I don't think anyone's take gonna... away. Any... Yeah. I know, but people can people can be very sensitive about that, and like, what do you mean? My, I'm not saying right. that. I'm not trying to. It's not meant in a demeaning or derogatory way whatsoever. Yeah. There's something else I was getting ready to ask you, and then you started off on that tangent about clarifying your life, and I don't know. well, it's it's such a it's such a, a weird and different position. Than most people take that I feel like I have to, because I'm not trying to belittle anyone's beliefs or anything. No, I don't think anyone would think that. You derailed me. Well, you derailed me earlier. Well, clearly it wasn't important. This is our outro music. I know. I heard you shutting me up. I like it. You need something upbeat after this conversation. I know. That's why I went with it. <laughs> Well, I don't think it was a downer conversation. I think it was just a different take on things. Oh, yeah. It was definitely a different conversation, and I wish we wouldn't have been up, uh, interrupted so that we could have a I know, I'm got actual... The... I almost feel like we need to re-record this. Yeah, but we will never get the same conversation again. No. That's the bad thing about it. So we're, we're kind of stuck with it. Yeah, whatever. So, um, whatever. I'll, no one listens to this, anyways. No, don't say that. We got a lot of listeners. By the way, I want to shout out again to our Cali person. Oh, California, and, and, and our one person in Belgium. Yes, our one person in Belgium. We're international. We are big time now. Thank you, whoever is listening to us in Belgium, and thank you to whoever's listening to us in California, New York, Colorado. Which I was in Colorado. Right. Uh, the two <laughs> idiots that were here last week. Yeah. <laughs> Florida. Georgia, South Carolina, or North Carolina. I don't think we got a South Carolina. Tennessee. Tennessee. Illinois. Illinois, which is Woosa. Shout out to Woosa. I think there was a Kentucky. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't gone over the analytics this week. I still am just blown away at the fact that last week's episode was our best episode yet. And it was the most... The stupidest thing. (laughs) I think I lost some brain cells after that conversation. Probably. They're uh, they're a very interesting group of people. And if you have no clue what we're talking about, you should go listen to it and see what this podcast doesn't sound yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be an in- interesting one to see what the analytics are on this one. Right. Well, we're I got some editing to do, so uh, why don't you plug us? God damn it. <laughs> like a two-year-old. Oh. 
sorry, I just. <laughs> you gonna you gonna do our socials or what? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was too busy laughing at you saying plug us. Well, um, you guys can find us everywhere online at the the Facebook, the Twitter, and the Instagrams. Do it for the grand. Um, at the Zadian Review. I'm not going to spell it this time because clearly you found us and so just look at the episode name. Suck it. You can also <laughs> follow me on Twitter. I am on Twitter. It's at Von Zadian V-O-N-Z-A-D-I-A-N and follow us on Facebook. You can also follow me on Facebook, which I don't ever post on there. Yeah, but... don't even bother. Just put your effort into following yeah. the Zadian Review Facebook page. But if you do follow me on Twitter, I would appreciate that too, because uh, I can have more of a conversation on Twitter with our fans than Facebook. I hate Facebook. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just on there to follow people that I like. But yeah, uh, yeah. follow me on Twitter at Von Zadian. Follow us, follow the show on Twitter at the Zadian Review yep. and all the other socials. Do you even post on Instagram? Yeah. Really? What do you post on there? Um, the, the posts that I have up right now are just the, like the episode logo. Wow. Oh, okay. All and, right. And um, I'm just going to keep throwing my That's thought it. process off. Thanks for listening. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Are you done? I guess I have to be. Yeah, because music's almost over. All right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.